Hello, YouTube. This is Miss Divine Stalls here. And it's been a bit, but that's usual for me these days. I seem to go about two months between videos, which is a shame. I want to do, I always say I want to do better about that, but I really feel like I can bring something back to YouTube now as opposed to where I was before. Where was I before? Well, and for my last few videos, you know that I was trying to go back to school and I was trying to look for a job and get my life back together. And I really had to focus on that. I had to put all of my attention, all of my energy, all of my focus on just getting through 2011 and the first part of 2012. And now we're in like the first quarter of 2012 and things are looking great for me right now. My funding came through last quarter and I also was able to find a job. I'm now a fry cook at a local brewery chain and I got a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of overtime. So I was able to pay for school of my own accord this quarter. Um, and it's actually a bit cheaper than I thought it would be. So it worked out well and I'm getting my tax refund back. So half of it comes back to me. Woo -woo. Awesome. I've also joined a local church called Unity Church here in Seattle and they are fabulous. I'm actually singing there this Sunday. Um, again, which is really fun. This is my second go around and I'm having a blast with it. It's a wonderful, wonderful church. These people are lovely. They are so open and so caring and so nice. And it's nice to have a place to go that's so welcoming and so cool and so accepting of so many different walks of faith and so many different people. No matter whom you are, you can come to a unity chapter church and be accepted. And it's nice for me to have that time, not just for my own personal introvert self in my own walk of faith, but to have that time with other people who don't care that here's this little punk prisoners, lesbian chef girl sitting among them, worshiping God and enjoying her life and having a great time with it. They're just like, come in and sing, come in and join us. The water's fine. It's all good. So it's nice to start the week with that every week as often as I can. Um, Gosh, what else has been going on? School is cray, cray, like cray, cray. So I'm in school full time going to culinary school. Right now I'm just doing, I'm doing the baking program and then I'm going to start next spring. I'm on the waiting list to start spring of 2012, or excuse me, spring of 2013 uh, and the main program in the culinary department. And it should only be, if I'm, I'm counting right, two or three more quarters after I finish up here because we take so many of our classes together. Um, and it seems to me that the way things are going, I won't have to take those group classes. I can just, you know, opt out of them because I've already taken them during the baking track. So that'll be really nice and a great way to save some cash. I've also been trying to make some time for myself to read and spend quiet time. It's now that it's spring, you know, out among nature, spend time doing just things for myself. I've been reading, um, this book right now, Joel Osteen, Every Day of Friday. And granted, he's, you know, he's a pastor and he's a bit more conservative, but his message of having faith and taking responsibility for yourself and thinking positively has been extraordinarily helpful. After this, I'm going to start in with uh, Peter McWilliams' book, You Can't Afford the Luxury of a Negative Thought. And I also finished uh, Rilke Letters to a Young Poet, uh, which was wonderful. I brought a copy for my mom. It was fabulous. It's a fabulous, fabulous read. So those are all really awesome. I think, gosh, you know, so much has changed since I started doing YouTube in 2009 for me. I'm not even the same person. It seems odd to come on here as Miss Divine Stalls in a way because so many people be like, man, Megan, you've changed, you've changed, you've changed. And I would say, no, I haven't. No, I'm still the same, but it's not, I'm not, I'm not at all. And it's been for, so for the better, you know, so much for the better. You know, things got got thick a little bit this week for me. You know, I had a tough couple of days there. We were getting sick. You know, I got locked out of my apartment. It was really crazy. Um, but in spite of all of that, I chose to have a good week. I chose to have a good day ultimately. And it wasn't easy at all, but it's so empowering when you just say, I am not going to allow something small and insignificant in the long run to destroy everything that I've been building this entire week or this day or this month, this year, this whatever. It's And five years ago, six years ago, I never would have done that. I ne That would have ruined my week. I'd still be crying about it. Like anything bad would have absolutely just, pfft, just destroyed me. And now it's not. And I feel so much more empowered. I've also been doing a lot of work to train my mind to think more positively, not have so many negative thoughts like I used to before, um, to have a more 
can do type of attitude. And I know that sounds really cliche, but you know, I watch a lot of Shay Carl too. And he says the secret to happiness is hidden behind the word cliche. And that's very true. Every cliche that's out there, like think positively, uh, doing your best, being the best person that you can be in any moment. Um, Martin Luther King, in fact, used to say to young people who would ask him about the keys to success or how can I be like you? He would say, Whatever you choose to do, whatever it is you ch in life that you choose to make your path or that you have as your dream, try to be so great at it that no person before or after you could touch the level that you achieve. And he was, in that he was saying you have to do everything you can to be your best. The thing that people forget and the thing that I remind myself all the time is that Gandhi, Michael Jordan, uh, Gloria Steinem, Barack Obama, all these people that you might admire in your life, all these people that you might think are just so amazing, you know, Gertrude Stein, whomever it might be, they had the same hours in a day that you did. They had the same days in a week that you did. They had the same weeks in a month, same months in a year. Everybody had the same amount of time. So if Frida Kahlo can go and achieve what she did in the amount of time that she had, which is the same as the amount of time that you have, what are you going to go do? What are you going to go do? Me? I'm going to follow two of my dreams. I'm going to continue with film school. I'm going to continue with film and keep making videos on YouTube and start get, get, taking film more seriously. And I'm going to finish culinary school. And I'm going to do something with both those things, whether it's making documentaries about sustainability, making documentaries about, um, you know, the poaching of bluefin tuna or something like that. Working in, working as a fry cook and then maybe working up to be a lead line somewhere. You know, maybe owning my own bistro owning a cafe that caters to homeless people two, three nights a week at a little, you know, soup kitchen thing. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's going to happen. I've already decided. Now y'all need to wait and see. This has been Mystifying Stalls, and I'm wishing you peace and love and a wonderful, blessed week. Peace.